What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and we've got a lot of content today to get through but we are going to start as we do every week with the player of the weeks. Now when we talk about content it is clubs, packs, it is player packs, it is a couple of other different pieces that we can go through as well. We have a new match pass in 13 days. We also have new players that are going to be coming on Monday, which we'll get into later on. We will be streaming later as well. And we'll go through the power packs after this as well. But the player of the week, lads, we finally got a Cristiano Ronaldo card. Now, personally for me, right, with my main account, this isn't that much of a big deal. Because I literally already have on my main account three Cristiano Ronaldo cards. We have the Manchester United card. Uh, that was here with the club pack when he was at Manchester United back when eFootball 22 was out. And then we also have his standard card. And of course, we have this player of the week, which I think is probably slightly better as a finisher. Obviously, there's a couple of different stats that we'll get into in a second. But look, for anyone, this this pack here and these packs here are for players. I mean, we've had multiple versions of Mbappe as well. So if you have Mbappe, you don't really need to spin for him. You know what I mean? If you have Ronaldo, you don't really need to spin for him. Now, he, he does have one touch pass, which is nice. And you will need that on a center forward now with the way the game plays in. Whether you've got even a target man or a running gun, right? But we'll get into it. So we've got Gundogan in here as well. Rounding off the 95 rated players. We've got Laporte. We've got Otamendi. We've got Luca Bacchio. We've got Vlaskomidimus. Carlson, Wilson, Salai, and Skov, right? So this guy Skov is actually not to be laughed at either. He's a pretty pretty good player. You've got Mbappe with long range curler. You've got 96 speed, 95 acceleration, 91 dribbling, 86 finishing. And that's without the boost. So if you stick him into your squad, you're obviously going to be getting the manager boost on top of that as well. So Mbappe is going to have pretty much 90 in all the main stats that he needs for a running gun center forward. I mean, listen, right? You don't need any of these players, right? I'm just going to hide my webcam here for a second, right? Um, to show you all his full card. You don't need with any of these players, lads. I, I genuinely feel that if you do have a version of these cards, you don't really need to spin. These cards are aimed at newcomers and aimed at people that never had the chance to spin for Ronaldo before or never got a player of the week card for him before. The one thing I do like about the player of the week is that once you actually get your free one and you get maybe lucky with one or two uh, other players, you could pretty much get the three best players in here. And as a starting player... That is really nice that you could get Ronaldo and Mbappe in like three, four spins, um, which is pretty decent, right? Obviously, we're going to have a look at these guys here as well. Saloy, not too much to talk about with him. He's just your standard attacking midfielder uh, slash SS. Very, very uh, common card. You know, there's not much there. I mean, the player skills only disguise so much. In my opinion, there isn't enough there to really get excited about unless you're a fan of the squad or the player. Wilson from Wales obviously is in the same position. Very nice stats, right? Very nice stats, but not going to change the dial really too much or move the dial too much based on what you could get from on the GP marketplace if you have 100k. You know, I mean, I still maintain that the likes of Pedri. If you're looking for an attacking midfielder, there is no better attacking midfielder for newcomers than Pedri, right? Or Jude Bellingham even as kind of a more defensive option. We've got Skov as well. This guy's got good speed, good stamina, good lofted pass. He's down as a left midfielder or a right midfielder, whole player. He has got pinpoint crossing with one touch pass and early crosser. I feel like the crossing has slightly been nerfed. Hopefully um, it, it improves because, you know, when Collar comes back into the squad, we want him to be decent from headers. We've got our stereotypical goalkeeper, obviously Greece beat Ireland the other day. So I'm not going to highlight this guy too much, but listen, he's an okay goalkeeper. He's an okay goalkeeper, 92 reflexes. He's got a nice height on him. I would like to jump into to be a little bit higher, um, but you can't train him up. So again, that's a bit of a hit or a miss, depending on how good your squad is. Carlson, again, speed. And pace is all you need from this guy. Uh, he's not really a great left midfielder. He can play left wing as well. It's kind of a disappointing player of the week lads, uh, selection, in my opinion. I mean, uh, these five guys, right? And I would even throw Adam Endy in here, even though that there's got, you know, crazy, crazy stats for the defendant here. And his, his pace isn't too bad. And he's got some really good player skills. I would say that the five of those, six of those players, right? And I'd even include this guy as well. Yes, he's got blister and pace, right? He's going to have 92 dribbling. But look at his low balance or his balance stat in his tight possession, which is really poor for a winger-based option, right? So all of those players that we've already looked at, right? Excluding the four here. I would say are kind of disappointing, even for newcomers, right? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, but I definitely think last week's player of the week was way more fun. You know, where you had Giroud, you had um, 
McTominay, you had guys that were kind of in different positions. So obviously all eyes will be on these guys here. Gundo is down as a DMF box to box. Again, pretty average. His aggression is pumped up a good bit compared to other cards. He's got one touch pass. Very good to carry the ball because of that low pass ball control hybrid movement of being able to pass the ball out of space and into space. And also being able to run and gun as well. Very decent. And we also have Laporte. Who, to be honest with you lads. I mean, I know I saw a few of you guys earlier in the Discord talking about Laporte. He's okay. Again, he's okay. You can get standard players. The defensive engagement is a little bit light. I would say that his acceleration. He's neither he's neither here nor there. He, you have to use him as your defensive kind of beast. Um, that is able to like have aerial strength and all that sort of stuff. right? He does have acrobatic clearance and aerial superiority. And heading. Um, but he doesn't have blockers so that would be a worry for me that he's just kind of neither here nor there he's, ne he's neither your versatile fast defender or your very dominant strong defender right so that obviously leaves us with Mbappe and Ronaldo we've already looked at Mbappe you know what you're getting with him I mean Mbappe is probably the easiest standard card to use so this version of him is perfectly balanced and you can see that apart from the balance and the tight possession stuff they're going to get a boost so tight possession is going to go to 80 and obviously we're also going to have the balance going up a little bit as well i personally think that you can build mbappe better if you're playing him as a center forward i wouldn't play him out wide unless you're looking to just rinse people out wide and drag the ball in cross it in but yeah i mean it's a fairly okay card if you've never had mbappe before I mean, he's Mbappe. I mean, he's one of the best players in the game. He doesn't always produce it. They have him nerfed a little bit compared to launch, but he is still a beast if you were to get him. And I mean, this is a game-changing card for somebody that has downloaded the game in the last week or downloaded the game yesterday. But for the likes of me or some of you guys watching that have been playing the game for months, I mean, I think I've like eight, eight versions of Mbappe. So that's where the, the, the kind of like this difference is between, you know, your level of play. And then obviously all eyes will be on Cristiano as a goal poacher. He's down here. He's got he's lads. I think having standard form is 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 a joke, man. Right? He should definitely have unwavering form. Him and Messi should have goat form, where they're just literally always on up arrow. That would be kind of cool. But he definitely should have had an unwavering form. I think he would have been worth the spin for that. If you have Ronaldo, lads, um, I definitely say that you know this card is probably around the same as the ones that they've released before. But I do like the fact that he has one touch pass. Now, look, if if you have the stats right that you're looking at here. Taking away the speed and acceleration, I never really worry too much about that with a goal poacher because, you know, when you're testing out the likes of drug band that, once you're getting the ball into their feet or else you're getting them into a tiny bit of space that they don't need to dribble, that they're literally just shooting on sight. Like, you've got 90 finishing here with Ronaldo and 88 kicking power. They're both going to get boosts, so it's going to go to 92 finishing and 90 kicking power. You're going to have 80 acceleration. The balance is the big thing with Ronaldo's card here, right? He does have the attack and awareness, but the balance is the big thing problem with this card balance and stamina but look i still think cristiano ronaldo is probably top five center forwards in the game from a standard perspective a standard car perspective when you leave the legends out of it right the legend cards and the boosters so i definitely think he's worth a spin especially if you get him on your free spin here um are you getting him in one or two spins right so yeah that is it for the player of the week lads not really too exciting um in this in my opinion but let me know your thoughts uh maybe i'm kind of reading it wrong but yeah i mean when i've seen so many of these players released before it is kind of hard to get hyped for very similar cards with stats just moved around a little bit so yeah that is it for me don't forget to subscribe and we will see you in the live stream later peace